Okay, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Looney, but you know it's crazy. I got a new chair. And what better way to break in a new chair than with a new game? Ignited Entry by Jordan Lindgren, aka Jordy Boy, aka the mind that brought us the shopping list broken through and the final pin. Now, what is Ignited Entry? You abandon your old life as a firefighter, fleeing from the tormenting memories of a family you couldn't save from a house fire. That sucks, but why do you feel like something isn't right? What is that noise, and why do I feel like it's calling me back to the house? The deeper you venture into the shadows, the more you begin to question. Is there someone waiting for me beyond the afterlife? Alright, Ignited Entry is a full-length narrative psychological horror game with voice acting, dreamish visuals, a horror element that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Some doors should never be open, but you must go in. Now, outside of all that good stuff, you know, full length narrative stories and uh, beautiful visuals, Jordy is also known for his W selections and collabs. As you can see from these voice actors, 8-Bit Ryan, Hollow, Tuv, Swole, Thickabus, That Plush, and Jordan himself. Now let's, let's get a little sneak peek teaser into what we getting into with Ignited Entry. Or, okay, I was about to say, or not. Only... The tunes are how you thinking is about to be a, a smooth summer eve, but nah, we know what's up. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? Nah. Hello, welcome aboard on the visit to Glide. You are currently being transported. Is this Standy Parable? Oh, wait, hold on. You will arrive shortly. Mm. Man with the glasses. He gave you just enough to get you interested. Not too much. Oh, what else we got here? Black string. Bet, bet, bet. Uh, uh, oh. mm. Select stage. I like to be on center stage. Chase Emily Aftergrave. Chase Zone. Emily Zone, Three Gas Pumps, The Diary, The Large Gate, Visitor Route, and The Hospital. What's that, like eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Ooh. Thick sounds. What kind of house is that, too? That look more like a barn. He was a fireman, bold and true. Until one night, the flames withdrew. Ah, riddles. A mother and son lost to the blaze. Gaze. Their lives cut short in a fiery haste. So close. The father saw the firemen arrive, unalive, but ran in first to fearful of time. Too fearful of time. That didn't rhyme. Those are footsteps. Somebody's over in this general area. Through smoke and flame, he couldn't stay. The firemen pulled him and rushed him away. Now, see, I could have been spending that time saving your family had you not put yourself in danger. Let me do my job, okay, sir? This is why I'm here. You see the suit? This ain't for decoration. The father passed away, his family gone, and the fireman's guilt would linger on. Thought that was an eye for a split second. It's a phone. He left the job, tried to stand tall, but the silence broke with a sudden phone call that was clean. So yeah, turn the lights off. I'm going to bed. Get some tea. Oh, 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 who could be calling me at this hour? Hello? Hello, hello? Bro, if I answer the phone. Hey, it's your brother, Jason. Yeah, I think this is. Hey, Jason. Long time no see. Yeah. How have you been? It's been a while. I've been busy. Yeah, I noticed. Haven't heard from you in months. What's going on? Look, I don't really have time for small talk right now. I need a favor. I think that's hollow. Is that hollow? I'm moving out and I need some help. Thought maybe my dear brother could spare a few hours. I ain't talked to you in months. You called me to help you move. Moving out, you couldn't have given me some heads up. Why now, all of a sudden? Life happens, all right? Look, I don't need to explain myself there. to you. Can you help or not? I'm there. Well, I guess I can help. Great. I'll meet you outside in five minutes. You live on the other side of town. He was <laughs> around the corner, made that call. What would you have done if I said no? Just ask the neighbor. Where are you moving from? So how have you been? I've been fine. Nothing special been going on, really. Just the same Damn, routine, too loud. I guess. Same old routine, I guess. Yeah, I hear that. You gotta shake it up a little bit, though, sometimes. What you got going on over here? Probably just a church bell or something. Oh, okay. Anyway, are you still looking for a new job? Yeah, yeah. Looking for a new job. Fireman thing, man. Just couldn't win it. 
wanted to make a difference to be the one with her. Uh, no, but when you fail to save someone, it breaks you. I thought it was a helicopter, and no one tells you how to carry that weight. Why that cow all off by itself? The gravesite? Wait, what? That's not a church bell. It's nearby. Pull over. Where that noise is coming from? Like a twister? Can I look to the left? Why is that one upside down? What's that about? Oh, I can. Damn. I had to click in. Did you not hear me say pull over? Pull the damn car over. There. There it is. I've been here before. The house burned down. And I was there to save the family that was trapped inside. This is what I was just telling you about. This is what broke me. But I didn't make it in time. The sound is coming from inside the house. We should we should check it out. Yeah, sure, I guess. Are oh, you look pissed? Exit car? Absolutely. Alright, there's no run. Roses end. Alright, y'all know the drill. Check the perimeter first. Folks be hiding. This tree is ridiculous. I was never gonna save him. Look how big this is he following me? Look how big this house is. I'm getting caught on stuff I wasn't getting caught on before. All right, just because I can't check the back, I mean, I ain't going to check the left side. Would have saved us both some time had you checked the left side. There's no sprint. There's no windows. Are y'all sure this is a house? This is as far as I go. All right. All right. Making my way back to you, bro. Top back in the stain, Jason. Waiting on me to open the door. Typical Jason. Oh, no. So I got a flashlight? I hear foot. I don't like this. Jason, I can't see a fucking thing. Look at him just all comfy and cozy. What's this? Nathan? Nah, this place should have burned down. What is this, a cellar? Oh! Don't like those symbols. We remember the symbol. I don't remember the symbol. What does this symbol mean? He don't remember it either. Brother. My fucking God! Is oh, I'm tripping. I got lace. That's what happened. I like this area though. This is nice. Matches my chair. Oh, there's my brother. Oh, he dead. Brother dead. Matches my chair though. It was nice. Y'all rocking with the purple? Ignited entry. It makes sense because we was on fire as we were falling. Why they listening to old timey show tunes though? Oh, and the house is fixed. But the car is on fire. Or is that my brother? Pretty messed up if that was my brother. Why was he just so okay with doing this? Oh, he's alive. Are you stealing my organs? What are you doing? He definitely stole my organs and took off. Somebody's over here. Bro, get up. That better be one of them damn cows. A symbol has been cut onto your flesh. And then I can't go nowhere but to the house. How did y'all build this house in this cave? What is this, Minecraft? Hold on, because I heard other scuttles. Y'all heard it, right? Y'all heard it. He was moving. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Get in the house. Somebody's watching us. You didn't think I was going to see that. I thought it was blending in. A searing pain, and then I see it carved into my flesh, the symbol of my fate. This mark binds me to a destiny I cannot escape. Find Jason. Jason! We've been here before. How you know the door? Like, you didn't even try to handle. Jason! Can I get a flashlight? What is this place? Unsettling? Watch it jump out at me. You got some white stuff on your mouth. I ain't gonna judge you. Oh my God, it's the future. Prophetic paint. Y'all hear? Y'all see the walls moving? That smoke. The door is stained with blood. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Why wouldn't it be locked? Jason! Woo! Damn flies. I need to get some flash strips. Oh my God. Relax, please. Jason! Bitch, close. Reception? Rope needed. I'm not going down there. I got those scuttles again. Stop. Cause it sounds like he's right. Oh, hello. I have a rope. Hmm. Fuck no. I'm about to go follow Jason. Watch the door be locked. I fucking knew it. I hate Jason. I hate him so much. I'm supposed to be helping you move. Now what's gonna happen if I die? You gotta move by yourself. Set me up like this. 
What if I don't want to? What if I change my mind? Oh, I can't go up. All right. Don't cut the rope. Yo, this is crazy. I thought I was going to be a fi- Why can't we run all of a sudden? This is running? Okay, I was about to say. Jason! This don't look stable. Whoa, hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now, hey. Okay, I've seen, uh... Oh, Jordan, you bogus for this. Yeah, I can't even see behind me. I'm about to say, I've, I've seen Squid Games. See all those cracks in there? Yeah, I was worried. I think this is like Lethal Company if I... Oh, you can't wrap it ring. Okay. Hold on, they got me all up on the desk. Back up a little bit. Fucking knew it. I... And welcome to... My name's Steve. And I will be your personal AI assistant for today. Who's this? Before we begin... An identification scan will be needed to identify the cause of your death. I'm dead? Please stand still. Absolutely not. How strange. The cause of your death is blank in my database. Because I'm not dead. Which means you are still alive. Can you recall what brought you here? This symbol on my arm? A hatch in the ground brought me and my brother here. The hatch was in a previously burnt down house where the family inside died in the house fire. Does that help? There is another fellow who goes by the name Brother Jason. Who checked in a few minutes ago. You two have matching DNA, which means that Brother Jason is your brother, who is named Jason. The hatch also means that an entity in this room has invited you or your brother here for an unknown reason. The hatch is unable to separate invitations between shared DNA of siblings, which is why the two of you are here. Okay, but he act like he's been here before. He's just walking around. Okay, I'm just like, all right, cool. What now? Send me back? What the f- Since I can't decide me to an aftergrave without a valid death permit, I will release you to freely roam the- until the ones who brought you here decide to send you back. But before you go, I'm uh -huh. required to fly you with the Fast 92. This is used to relive all the memories by pairing it with a memory orb in order to counteract insanity. Ah. I would advise you to stick to your own memory orbs. Unless you like peeking into other people's memories. What are you listening to? Anyways. You will now be transferred to... I thought I was in. <laughs> Jesus. Hold on, let me put my glasses on. Holster. No, put them on. Put them on your face. Hello, and welcome aboard on the visit to Glide. You are currently being transported to the... Connect these glasses with the memory orb to delve into the memories of its previous owner. Welcome gift has been sent from your inviter. The teleportation of your gift will commence in approximately three seconds. That's not sketchy. Then my gift. Sit. Huh. Ew. Can I crouch? In a horrifying incident that has shocked the community, a house fire has resulted in the loss of three lives as it appears to be a sacrificial ritual. Sacrificial ritual. Been identified as and her 12 year old son. Tragically, the father also lost his life in the hospital a few days later from lung damage and a heroic attempt to rescue his family upon his In the stupid attempt, a blaze upon his return home. Okay, I, I guess that makes sense. What is this, Star Wars? Y'all hear that? I didn't even notice this blood here. Somebody was like, BAM! Unconscious. We were just outside. Don't leave without me now. Chase Emily Aftergrave. All right, finally made it into chapter one. Nice bed, I like that bed. Two queens have a... Okay, that's gonna be important for sure because it is everywhere. Okay, none of this here is important. Visuals are indeed stunning. 
Houser? No, house. I'm hearing all kind of footsteps around me. Y'all saw that, right? He was in the window. I wouldn't have been able to see him in no way. Look at that. My fault for that flashbang. No warning. It's crazy. Key needed. All right, so we got to find the key to find the password. Thought those were legs. Memory orb. Hmm. Four uses left. Hold on. Because what if I don't want that? Oh, right. I need the key. So, yeah, I got to go there. Stupid. Emily's eyes. Laundry. I used to work there. Hey, babe, quick question. Did you happen to change the computer password? Oh, yeah, I did, actually. I meant to tell you, but it completely slipped my mind. No worries. It happens to the best of us. Why the change, though? Well, our little tech whiz of a son has been spending more time on the computer than on his schoolwork lately. So I thought a little password change might redirect his attention. Ah, sneaky mm. move. So where's the new hiding spot for the password this time? Behind the dryer in the utility room. I was just there. Didn't need to do this. Got it. Thanks for keeping things in check, darling. Anything for our little troublemaker, right? Exactly. That was the whole memory. Death registry. How'd she die? Oh, house fire. Duh. 1975 to 2013. Burned alive. Chase Turner, 39. Oh, sh. Don't be checking up on me. Why does it look so much darker in here? That door look wider to y'all? Was it always that open? I gotta spell Chase. <laughs> but I wanna see pictures! This folder is locked. To open the folder, a few security questions need to be answered. Do you wish to proceed? Does Emily work as a teacher? No. Is Chase allergic to peanuts? Yes. Does William enjoy fishing on weekends? No. Is Emily's favorite color blue? I don't remember seeing too much blue in the house. Does Chase have a pet turtle? I didn't see it. Might be behind that locked door though. Does William enjoy cooking? Yes, he does. He was actually looking for Pinterest recipes when he caught me at the laundromat looking for the password. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? They took away the power button. Nah. Is Emily's favorite flower roses? Yes. God. Do you know you're being watched? I do now. Do you recognize the person behind you? My brother Jason. Don't fucking touch me. Don't touch me. Stop. Under the bed, 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 under the bed. I think it's under the bed. They moved it over here. Was it there the whole time? It was inaccessible. That's a bookshelf. Okay. Whoa! I don't know how dark this is for y'all, but for me, it is dark left bed. There's a man under here. Oh. There's a man in the door! Chase! Do you have a pet turtle? I wonder. Fuck! <laughs> Bitch said hide. What? I just thought that it was cracked open. I was about to run back to the house. Are you sure it's him? Yes. I saw the symbol on his arm. It's him. You goofy. I'm not getting out. I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. I was about to go back to the room and get under the bed. But I saw that the cupboard was cracked open. Quick thinking. And uh, I'm just not realizing I've been set up. My damn brother was in on it. It's not the door off the hinges. What are y'all into? What was the point of me getting the key? Work on this damn brightness. The key is I have a key. I'm walking against the wall. Okay. Okay. Now now we're getting wait, this is back into the hallway. I I, I made a U-turn. I can't go back in here. Okay. 
Can't hide in there again. I'm guessing this is also off limits. Yep. Yep. I can't see a fucking thing. Needs a key. Did I drop the key? Oh, okay. Here we go. Now I can see. I can see. Can't see. Uh. The robot saw Chase's tears and pain and gave him an arcade to ease his train. Play little one, it softly said. Let joy games smooth your dread. Location, Chase Zone. It's a good educational program. Oh God, there are stairs. Deeper into the belly of the beast. Oh, is that baby Chase? Stop your crying, kid. We got games to play. It relaxed, he was right, he was right. I thought those were Jason! What the hell are you doing, Jason? Stop following me. See what I'm saying? He act like he's been here before. Now I'd be real wrong if I just turned off all the power in the building, right? You lucky, Jason. <laughs> oh what? I know Chase. Chase on this. What's up? Damn bomb shelter. Look at that. I, w I wouldn't have had this. I wouldn't have had this. I'd have been SOL. See, Jason ain't got the keys. He don't know. But I got the key. Why'd the music stop? Can I get an orb? Oh. Asking ye shall receive. I was just wondering if I could get an orb to let me know. Y'all heard breathing? To let me know if I was going to die down here. Chase, what'd you see? Chase's eyes. Pong. If we win this game of Pong, we should have enough tokens for the main prize. All right. Who's going first? You. I'll take care of this one. Death Registry, Chase Turner. 2001, 2013. Burned alive. That's so crazy. That's the same way his mom died. Ah, oh, I gotta fucking beat Pong, don't I? I wasn't listening. Did he say beat the high score? Pong? Not Pong. Stop, 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 stop. Why is that light red? I got the keys to this. Why is there a skull on these? I didn't notice that when I picked them up. I need a fuse? What is this? Ah, and jinxed it. Where am I gonna find a fuse at this hour? No faking. I was about to go in my inventory and pull out the key again. But it said I need a fuse, so that key would not have been helpful. I got fuses in here. I did do. I, I did give it the old once over. Nah, I ain't Mr. Fuse. Who am I, Jason? Jason missed stuff like that. I don't miss stuff like. He stole my plan. That's what he did. Watching me. I'm no good at pong. Before my time. What are the controls? Win for a prize. Player one. Versus. Chase. Get that mess out of here. Stop it, Chase. Cut it out. It's just, that's my point. First to what? First to three? Bitch. Come on. One more, one more, one more. First to three, baby. First to three. Run it. Ah! Get him. Chase him down. Get it? Because his name's Chase. Where do you go, you little shit? There's a hallway. Oh, he definitely took the elevator. 100% he took the elevator. Ah! 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 That's a wall. Something's walking. Come on. I'm stuck in the center. You better be bringing ice cream. And what the buttons in here? Y'all see it? I can't see it. Oh, stop. <laughs> Please.
I'm okay. With oh my god, I didn't even notice that. If you die in the afterlife, do you die in real life? Or am I like invincible because my life energy is actually in the land of the living? I'm on a frozen tundra. Back to reception. Oh, they pulled me back to the center. Then I'm just stuck here. <laughs> I turned around because I, I knew he was coming through that door. He just called me a boy. I have been sent over to inform you that an individual from another afterdrave has requested a visitor call with your name on it. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? Did he call me a puss? I have sparked a phone for you to use. A bit further into the rooms. Future oh. policy. We all had our shot on our Policy! He said policy. So make it quick. Nigga took the desk and the phone, you idiot. Oh no, nah, that look like a Black Op Zombies part. Max ammo! Phone call, how stupid. <laughs> that's that's so lame. What perk did you get? Phone call. Hey, Reagan? You don't know me that well. But I know you. I'm not allowed to speak to the visitor phone for too long, so listen very closely. You need to keep moving forward. Eventually, you will find the aftergrave exit. Pass through it, and you will be safe from them. From there, I've arranged the visitor Dwight to come pick you up Who's them? and take you to my location. We have to talk. Good luck. Make it to the aftergrave. I can't. I can't even see where I'm going, sir. How much does this door cost? I haven't killed a single zombie. I got no perks. I got no funds. What is this? Matches? Jason's matches. Is Jason also dead? When ignited, these matches have the ability to dissolve anything bearing the symbol. Well, that's helpful and convenient. How many matches you leave me, Jason? Who's watching me? Besides you, not you. I, I know I know you're watching. You also hit that like button. <laughs> Wait, so this costs one or two? Oh, it only cost me one. How long this thing lasts? Hold on now, let me maximize, let me maximize. Bam. I come, I come check it later. I come check it later. I gotta maximize. Yep, let me get that one too. Bam! Oh dear. Can't get that one. Alright, I, I, I think I got all of them. I had something else to focus on. I hear you singing in your room. I tried to open the door, but I don't know where the key is. When you're done singing, can you come to my room and play Pong with me? Chase. Uh. Hallelujah. All right, cool, 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 cool beans. <gasps> I didn't miss one. I gotta light another match. Inventory full. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. All right. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Bam. Oh, I got two crucifix eye. That don't seem right. Four species, guys. Four green amber Because the thing is, I don't know how many matches I had, and I was worried because the glasses only got four uses, and I'm too, I'm too down. All right, I've already used two. We grabbed that one. All right, so it's got to be on the other wall. Oh my God, there's. There's more shits in here. Oh. I was pressed up against the wall. Okay. Why does that seem so violent? The door's locked, right? Yeah, the door's locked. Okay. This is what I was talking about earlier. It's going to take me an extra two hours because I'm doing stupid stuff. Like trying to save a match. Well, hello there. I see. Okay, okay. Oh, the room caught fire. Okay. Let me get that. I'm not sure I wanna. Ugh. 
You a fool, you think I don't play with matches? Exit? Whatever this means, it has something to do with the diary. I need to find the key to this. Stupid, I use that key to get in here. <whistles> Baby steps. Oh, that's the box of matches. I was trying to look at it. I'm like, what is that? Okay. Now I'm lost because it's dark in here. Okay. All right. All right. I got it. So if there was something to be seen, you'd have let me see it. I, I understand. That's where Buddy lives. So we're going to head down here. Enter hatch. Okay. I don't like falling. Got it, eh? I can't. I can't jump up and burn it. The crank for the well is missing. But the key could be down there. Ugh. That means I gotta go in the hatch. All right. So around and around and around we go. I get it. Where, where are you? I'll be back for you. Down we go. Boom, boom. And now it's sad. There's actually a ladder here, so that's cool. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get back up. I'm craw crawling, climbing down this ladder with a lit match. Hello? Jason? Chase? Somebody? Don't like that. The door has been locked behind you. Fuck, I knew I was gonna be able to go back up. That's a tripod. We're down here filming. This would be a great location for a short horror film. Oh, there's too much going on around here, man. You're never gonna find that key. Oh shit, a key. Nah, nah, nah. That's, that's the damn dumbbell. Packs of coffee, brown rice. Fucking walking in circles. No, I'm supposed to be looking for a crank, not a key. The key is in the well. You. Okay, I'm in this room. Backup exit. What is that? Backup exit generator. Okay. Map does not help. Okay, so. Out the door. Bus a right. Bus a left. Straight down. Bus another left. Bus a right. Bus another right. So, if I'm looking at this, that'll be to the left. So, out the door, I'd actually bus a right. All right, let me check. Let me check that's right first. That is indeed correct. That is indeed correct. Okay. Okay. So out the door, bust a right, then a left, another left. Okay. Then I'd be facing this way. So another left, then a right. So we going left, left. Wait. No, we're going right first. Okay. Right, left, left, right, left. Okay. Right, left, left, right, left. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, there's the pillar, and the generator should be right here. Yep. Oh, what a cool generator. Mm. Oh, do I gotta fix it? I can't just hit the button. You know, it sucks this room doesn't have a damn uh, a map to tell me how to get back. Yeah, that looks important. Ta da! Woo! Woo! What's in her hand? If she come out that picture, I will bat you in your sh with this crank. I called it. Swing on you. Do it. I, I know it was coming. Use matches to see in the dark. You are dirty for this, Jordy. And then I can't see a fucking thing. Three meters. Wait a minute. Something said three meters. I need to power the exit generator so I can get out of here. Okay, but like, is she going to be walking around and sh- Because if so, that's fucking cheating. What do you need from me? I'm at the generator. I'd like to hit it. Bitch, that wasn't even the generator. I'm- I need to activate the gas pump before I can power the generator. Keep matches hidden to avoid being seen by her. I thought that was gonna lead it. Okay, is she gone? Why you start walking when I start walking? Is that her? No, that bitch sped up. Wait, 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 chill, 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 chill. 
But I'm in this room running around in circles, man. Bro, she's that way. Jordy, I need a fucking door. Jordy, this is gonna take three fucking hours, man. Oh my god! He wasn't joking, that bitch is blind. She saw that. I just ran right by her. Bro, shut up. Didn't see nothing. Shut up. I hit a wall again. Jordy, why would you think this was a good idea, man? Like, at the very least, give me the outline so I have some kind of direction. Like, I can't see nothing. Even with the match, it's hard to see. She's behind me. This is a dead end, isn't it? This is a fucking dead end. Oh, my God. She doubled back. Why'd she double back? I'll tell you why she doubled back. Because she hit a dead end, too. Jackpot, baby, it's on. You know what sucks? I gotta make it. Okay, I thought I, I thought I wasn't getting no kind of distance. I gotta make it back to the generator is what I was saying. And that sucks. Honey, are you walking on ping pong balls? What the f- It would make sense. They was playing Pong. Chase, Chase likes that. Makes sense, makes sense. Move. Oh my God. There's no fucking outline, dude. I got no clue. I don't hear whistling, though. Whistling, humming. Bingo! She gotta stop this back and forth to act, all right? Go on the other side of the- Stop, 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 stop! Bitch, I saw the matchbox and I got freaked. I said, what is that? That's new. It's not. Wait a minute, chill out. Stop now. Go on somewhere. Shit. But why can't I just walk through walls? She's right on the fucking left of me. Oh wait, of course, she's she's right behind me. Oh, Jordy, you filed for that. Did I just fall through that table? I mean, I did tell him I was going to be back. That's going down. I don't remember what I, what I needed a key for. Emily's diary, right? The book on the wall. Hit a key belongs to the Emily's personal diary. I added the, I'm the moron. Don't blame Jordy. She's still down there humming away. Didn't he say all I had to do was to get the exit and then he was going to have a car waiting for me? I did my part. Where's my car? Oh, this is the car. Okay. There's never anything else. Goodbye, Cool Roar. Looks like there actually is an afterlife. It may be just isn't what I expected it to be. Mm. Me and Chase have been assigned to this thing called an aftergrave. Chase and I. From what I've understood, it's an extension of the Are those eyes? We both got killed in our home, so that explains the enormous house at least. I hope William is doing okay without me and Chase. William's also dead. I miss him so much. Run that phone, run that phone. Well, page one suck. The burn scars still haven't gone away. I don't recognize my little boy's beautiful face. Then he doesn't recognize mine either. I could still see the skin peeling from his flesh. Ugh. William, not you? But that's okay. Jason! I just hope he can still look at my face. Uh. Recognize me as his mother. More about how you feel. Or more accurately, how you make him feel. Killed us. 
and I think I found it in our aftergrave. Jason set me up. His fingerprints. Jason. Jason, uh, he, he fucking murdered him. Jason's an arson. If you've gotten far enough to find the key to my diary, then you're probably the person I'm writing this to. I don't know your name. I don't know why you did what you did. But I do remember that symbol. It's burned into your memory? What I saw. And it's the only thing I won't forget. Chill out. I already knew that. I already had him out. Why y'all put him up? Why is this? Bitch, I thought that rock was her. Why is this one orange? Two uses left. I gotta be strategic. Oh, not my brother. It's an honor for us to have met you, Samlo. Will you do the honors? My brother's a damn arsonist. And I'm a firefighter. Literally spit in my face. And this is the hall. Oh, they're tied up. Type, type. Ah, oh, man. I want you to get a good look at me. I don't want you confusing me for my brother. I'm sorry about this. I truly am. But it's already ha Oh, he looks so sad. It's already happened, okay? This this is only a memory. I, I don't think you'll feel it. Ah. Uh. Oh. God. Ah, oh, that did nothing to help you. You're not gonna remember me at all. I'm wearing cloaks. I was a little close to that. That's why he cut the symbol into my arm. He's trying to put the blame on me so that he can get out of here alive. But the truth should still be etched into his skin. Yeah, this skin, this, this skin tag's way too fresh. I couldn't have done this. They ain't trying to hear that. Okay, before we proceed, I wanna do some analysis. So. Brother calls me up months after 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 zero communications. Okay, radio silence. Thinking during those months he was absent. He was doing cult activities, including this fire. And then he calls me up talking about moving because they started haunting him, which is why he's so familiar with this place. This isn't his first time here. I'm guessing. That's as far as I got in my theories. So we got to link back up with Jason. With each sacrifice, we gain the fallen's life we obtain. Growing stronger by the hour, in hell will wield unmatched power. At least they know they're going to hell. Okay, is that a memory orb? This, oh! Yeah! That's the visitor glide the guy on the phone set me. I just need to make it to the visitor station. Why ain't you pick me up at the balcony? That bring me closer or further away? Exit row. Emily and Chase exit route 320 90 263. There's also a safe here. One. One equals zero. Three equals seven. Damn, one equals zero. Three equals seven. Two equals five. Oh my god. I didn't. Uh, it was 2090. Okay, so one is zero. Two is five three is seven correct that's right that sound right to y'all that's how i remember it okay wait their exit route is that doesn't make any sense 320 90 283 no three three nine twenty four ninety two eighty three how does that correlate to the safe i didn't what okay i'm knowing i need to decipher this door is locked i'm guessing the key is in the safe so number three. Oh, i'm stupid okay 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 i got it 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 so two is equal to five one is equal to zero so one five one correct right that makes sense to y'all one five one four nine zero. no that didn't make any sense to me at all because i could take two twice which would be ten or i could take one four times which would be zero five one seven no, because there's also a 283. So that'd be 57. So 557? Five, five, I got 557. Five, let's let's try 557. Five, 557. Five. Not 557. Five, one equals zero. So I'm looking for a one wrong, I'm looking for a zero. Three equals seven. That's not helping me. I need to I need to see behind that. Two equals five. I'm gonna miss my train. So number three. Two. 
which is five, but zero is also one. One, five, one. Let's go back to one, five, one. Oh, my days. Zero, two, three. Zero, two, zero. The zero would be a one. Then four, nine, zero. The zero would also be a one. Two, eight, three. The three would be a seven. So one, one, seven. If it ain't one, one, seven, I might have to cheat. Dude, what? What am I missing here? Which it is not. Now the third sequence would be two eight three. Five eight seven. No. Yeah, five eight seven, right? Five eight seven? Five eight five five eight seven. Five, eight, seven. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm sorry. God, I didn't change my numbers. Three equals seven. This that two equals five. So how did you get six oh three? It's not even a six mentioned. Where is this? Where is it? Number three. Yeah, uh, you know what? I don't care. I don't. Three oh, three. oh, okay. So we got six zero three. Was the last three? Six zero. Oh my god! I'm so fucking stupid. Code zero five seven. <laughs> oh my god! I'm sitting over trying to crack a code. He literally gave me the code. Cause I'm like, how did he get six? There's there's no six mentioned. Overthinking. Overthinking. That's what I get for overthinking. This key opens a gateway from the Turner's house to the visitor station. I was about to say, who the fuck is the Turner's? But yeah, that's Emily and Chase. Emily, Chase, and William. What was the point of putting the door there to begin with? This should take me to the visitor station. I was sitting up here trying to, trying to crack the code on this. This had nothing to do with that. There's stuff moving around in here. The visitor, he's got a viper on his hand. That's a snake, don't let him touch you. Not reading from that book. And you need two people. Oh, monsters don't have a reflection. Dad's here. Bitch, what? Did oh. I hear whispers? All right, read the book, because I am... Actually, I'm not that far over. I'm only eight minutes over. This gate will open with a touch. When inviters' handprints mean so much. I'm sorry, what? The gate will open with a touch when inviters' handprints mean so much. Do I need my... They're all around me. Something can be used to carry her. Oh, this is just disrespectful. And Stephen Hawkins over here. And Stephanie Hawkins. Up, oh, sorry. Sorry, overshot it. <laughs> I just threw her fucking face. <laughs> oh, that's so jacked up. All right, you're more chill. He just like playing Pong. Because you breathing, shut up. I don't know. There, there was something red down there, but no, 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 no. Don't tell me I need a key. Okay. All right. It should be a friendly. Probably know the truth by now. Yeah. Only one of us is allowed to exit this place. It's gonna be me. And the family will kill you before you make it to the visitor station. But don't worry, brother. We're grateful for your death. I'm sitting there standing and looking like a, an idiot. Summoned together by mistake, only one can escape. One brother seeks the door to keep his dark lore, leaving the other to a fate. Wait, so he already left? Okay, I was about to say. For it to end like that would be ridiculous. Chill, 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 chill. Who's that? Stop. Bitch, what is that? I got it. No baby footprints? Wait. That's lip gloss, right? Those are... Those ain't rounds. That five, five, six? Use your visitor identity. Haha, <laughs> Jason's dead. Like there are no corridors. Just a straight shot to freedom. Maybe. Okay, yeah. Run! 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 Oh my god, Judy, what are you doing to me? Go, 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 go! Oh, I don't like that I have to keep resetting my run. Jason must not have told you I'm tracking field star, baby boy. I fucking died anyway. Stop. Steve? Come on now. What have I told you to about trying to go outside of after Grave Father? You don't understand. That guy over there, he's the reason why we're here. And what makes you say that? 
that symbol on his arm. The man who killed us had the same one. He's the one who killed us. <laughs> well, an individual who goes by the name William Turner has told me that he was the fireman who was trying to save you two. W. William. What? So that would mean that his mother is the one who killed you. you got to w. Steve. Why this little tootsie roll just seems to have gotten a conveniently shaped scratch. <laughs> w. Steve. Steve, what's the joke? Damn. What's going on? You let him Is out? Is William here too? Was this poor guy uh, trying to save us? Is his brother still here? I... Uh, forget I ever said anything. No. Nah, Steve, yes. you gotta fill in. I mean, stop that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but it looks like you two have passed outside of your aftergrave. Steve, you're life. dirty. And that means I have to send you back to your aftergrave. Ta-ta! Tell him that we're... Oh, shit! Wait, Steve! Oh, shit, what are these rocks worth? William's the one that was on the phone. Visitor station, obviously. Let me get on this fucking train. I don't like that I gotta keep... I don't like that I have to keep resetting my run. Bro, who is throwing shots at the track? Don't go on the tracks now. Jason, you bastard! Watch him sit. Train started moving. Hello, and welcome aboard on the visitor glide. You are currently being transported to the aftergrave of your invited. You will arrive shortly. Wait, William invited me? A welcome gift has been sent from your inviter. The teleportation of your gift will commence in approximately three seconds. Two, one, zero. It got intercepted. Right on. Nigga threw me a plate of glass. What am I going to do with this? He said, defend yourself. Wait. Oh, I'm like, I'm not ready. <laughs> <It was laughs> I made the scenario. William rushed into the flames to save his family. Brave and bold. Overcome by smoke, he fell. His story tragically told. Rescued by the firemen, he fought in the hospital. Dim light, but lung damage claimed him. Turning day into endless night. It was my scenario, and I freaked out. I freaked myself out. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with a shard of glass? Defend yourself. Then it got dark. I've been here before. I, I, I donated. Information talk kidney donation. Saturday, January 28th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Donation Center. Donation! Donation! Right! And I had a baby! Wait, there's no reception desk here. Oh, there it is. Stupid. Maybe I haven't been here before. Now, last time I called the elevator, stuff went wonky. I probably should have my shard out, huh? What does it do? I'll figure it out once I get there. He put the shard up. I'm about to say, there it go, right there. What does that do? Oh, that's... Wait, no, that didn't make any sense. Why is that... Why is that a straight line? What's happening? None of my business. None of my business. Moving along, moving along. Damn. Hey, did you bogus, William? Oh, thank God. You made it. I was worried they were going to catch up to you in the hallway. They was out there? Is that a claw machine? Dude, you got the sickest room. Why did you want me to come here? And who are you? It's William, obviously. I don't think so. Well then, let me refresh your memory. That is a lame prize. Get to the way! Get to the way! All right. You know, when we were just talking, you could just tell me you're William. Like, we, we could save the shenanigans. I only got two more. I only have one use left on this, William. Oh, that's him coughing. I'm like, who is laughing in my ear? Rescue your family. Brenda! Wait, no. Uh, Emily! Emily! <coughs> Chase! Chase! Please! You have to save them! Save my family! No. No. Please! That's registry, William Turner. Smoke inhalation. Saved by firemen. That's not how I died. 1974, 2013. Death in hospital from lung damage. Couldn't get a donation? Oh my god. I don't, I don't know what to say. I wish I could have saved you. And your family. But you were the only one that I managed to retrieve from the fire. You would be alive if I had stopped you from running inside of that house. I'm sorry, William. Don't say that. You did the best you could. And that's 
more than enough. Ah, uh, thank you. So the monitors are breaking news, fire. Oh, he's been watching me. That's where the generators and gas pumps are. Why are they trying to kill me? Why are you not with your family in this world? Because he didn't Honestly, die with them. I wish I died in that house fire. Because that would mean I would be with them right now. I died in the hospital. And that was enough for them to separate our aftergraves. And as every day goes by, it hurts even more to not be there with them. I miss them so much. What do you want me to do? Why'd they put you on your side? This world is heavily surveilled so that the dead won't try to go outside of their aftergrave borders. Huh. Usually the only ones that have access to the security system are the ones with authority in this world. But there's this guy in this world that you've probably met. The robot. Well, he... cares. He gave me this system so I could watch over my family. And ever since the day I got this, I've been staring at the screen, waiting for the day my family would find and invite the person that they have been looking for. And then, you two came along. The invitation system only accepts one person at a time. But I guess you two mess up the system by being at the same place at the wrong time. Nah, he did that on purpose. I instantly knew what was going on. I saw the symbol he cut into your flesh. William, why did you want me to come here? Because you're our only hope. For? This world is like a threshold into the afterlife. A waiting area where we need to find peace with our demise before we can cross over into the true afterlife, leaving our limbo state behind. I see. Some do it by just letting time pass by. But in our case, time will never heal our wounds. Yeah, that's what you got this for. It's a little if rusty. We, us, we can cross over into the true afterlife. Are you asking me to kill my brother? I will be with my family again. This echo got to stop. Help us before it's too late. And help yourself before it's too late. What do you mean before it's too late? Yeah, you're in you're in the aftergrave. You got you got infinite time, right? Let me just show you. Your brother is on his way to leave this world through the visitor exit as we speak. The portal only opens okay. for one visitor per invitation. I need the door. If he passes through, it will close. <clears throat> uh, also, open the door. Your brother is trying to trap you here for all eternity. Okay, so open the door. He couldn't get my family to kill you, so he's trying to get rid of you by giving you something worse than death. Limbo. Yeah. Spending an eternity alive. <laughs> I've got it. Now, and open the door. He is moving fast. Open the door. I know what I need to do. Open the door. I can't thank you enough. Great. Open the door. The robot. Or should I say... Steve. Have a look at the news article on my desk. Receptionist dies in cult hotel fire. In a tragic incident, a hotel has set on fire by a cult, leaving behind a mysterious symbol on the wall. Thankfully, everyone managed to escape safely except for the receptionist. That's not thankfully. Steve Elliott ensured that all guests were evacuated, but sadly lost his life in the process. You will not only be saving us, but you'll be saving him as well. Got it. Tell him everything you know, and he will definitely take you to the visitor exit. Great. Open the door. You will be free from his <laughs> Okay, open the door. He's moving. Ring the bell when you're ready, and you'll be teleported to the reception hall. And hey. What? Don't look down on yourself because you couldn't save us back in the fire. Oh. Because you're saving all of us. I thought you said I'd be teleported. I'm not... Got it. Steven! Oh, Steven, I need your help, buddy. Hello there, there, bestie. How can I help you today? I need to get to the visitor's exit. I can help you, Steve. I don't need any help. I don't need any help. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. Nah, you misunderstand, Steve. You're not supposed to be here. I know who you were. I didn't make any sense. Because I'm just a robot. No, Steve. You're human. Steve Elliott, you were a receptionist at the hotel. The cultists, they burned it down. You saved everyone, but you didn't make it out. I know who killed you. 
It's my brother. And he's on his way to the visitor exit to leave us both here. We gotta stop him, Steve. But I can't do it without you. Imagine he loves it here. No, you won't. Because you won't be here. You're in charge, Steve. Say you'll take me to the exit. Ah, oh, he hates his job, but he couldn't quit. Okay. I will take you there. Thank you, Steve. Are you ready to go? Yes, 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 yes. Let's just go. Where's the where's the bell? Did I hit the bell? Yes. Okay. Let's see what the fuck is this? Let's go. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I'm so excited. Steve? Steve, we move moving kind of fast. Wait, Steve, where are you? Oh, Steve, you have me worried, Steve. I got it. Where are you? I got it. Steve, <laughs> I need to stop Jason from entering the portal and kill him. Steve. Dear. Uh, uh, uh. Where is he? Where is he? I miss dad. Dinner doesn't taste the same without him. He always made my favorite stuff and it felt special like it was just for me. The house feels weird and lonely, especially at night. I wish he was here to cook and play games with me. I miss him so much. Chase. It's a letter to who? I miss him so much. The silence in the house is unbearable. And I ache for his touch, his voice, his presence. Nights are the worst. Lying awake, wishing he was here to hold me. My heart feels empty without him. Emily, August 11th. That's the shard! I thought it was a glass shard. Can I repair this? Got it. I only got the one shard. Oh. Oh, there's still pieces missing. Never mind. Enter visitor exit. Weird fr No, 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 you don't, you son of a bitch. Entering code quadruple three will open the hatch for overclocking mode. You can only overclock one core at a time. If all three cores are overclocked simultaneously, the system will be overstimulated and the teleportation system will implode on itself. Extreme caution. I keep it back. I wasn't listening to you at all. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, stop it. I'm gonna kick your ass. Kill Jason as he killed them. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. You brother. Oh, all right. That's that's good for them. But how do I get out? Jason Anderson. Is he the new receptionist? 1989, 2015. Burned alive. Yeah. Just like that one baby from Bad Parenting. Daniel Anderson. Explosion? 1987, 2015. Lost his life to save them. Gave his life to save them. I've always known my life might end protecting those who can't protect themselves. If it means they get to hold their loved ones a little longer, then my sacrifice is a small price to pay. That's four bodies. Oh, right, Steve. Those all look like dudes. Oh, no, that's Emily on the end down there. Okay, so it goes Emily, William, Chase, Steve. Emily, don't think I forgot about you trying to kill me. You tried to off me.
in their peace. I found mine too. I see we just gave up on rhyming. I was stand I, wait, no. I was I was standing over there. <laughs> Where the bridges intersected. I was over there. All right, that is gonna do it for Ignited Entry. It was a good game. I like the story behind it. I wanna know more about the cult though. Cause like, what did they get out of, well, they did say that you uh, gain your victims' lives, whoever you sacrifice. So, Jason would have been plus what? Cause she was 38, then uh, I'm about to say Charles. Chase was what, like 12? And so she had what, 50, so he gained like what, 60 years? 60, 60 plus years, give or take? Good game. And this part, the gas pumps? Yeah, nah, I could do without that. Sitting in the dark is crazy. It was it was manageable though. It wasn't, it wasn't as bad as I initially thought it was. But yeah, that's a wrap on uh, Ignited Entry and this video. If y'all enjoyed that, and I hope y'all did, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.